Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I'm so tired, and it's eight o'clock. Here comes my baby. Here comes my baby. I promise he's going to get his headshot now. 100%. Hey, Pupen. Visa lite runt om dig. Mm -hmm. Wow, fint. <laughs> we have T-Bow, some breakfast, yogurt, and um, misli, and tea. And then I'm gonna watch a new episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi on Disney Plus. I'm not really a huge Star Wars fan, but I love... You and McGregor, so <laughs> that's probably it. Oh no, I have hair up there. Um, yeah, I I think that you and McGregor might be my favorite actor of all time. He could be. Um, and yeah, I like this timeline in Star Wars, not the newer ones. <laughs> Hey all everyone, um, it is a few hours later obviously, when was the last time I filmed, was it breakfast, right? Yeah, I had been taking some walks with Tebow, I had been eating lunch, and now I'm going to film a main channel video, but this guy needed some love before he died, he needed some love. This uh, day will probably be just a lot of, whoops, a lot of uh, work. So therefore I'm feeling I can vlog tomorrow as well. Because tomorrow I think a lot more is gonna happen. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys my makeup. I've removed my Medusa and I have a fake septum in. Because I want to see if maybe I should go for that instead. We'll see. But now I'm gonna film the uh, main channel video with all of this fake plastic hair. It is obviously much later, but I have amazing news. <laughs> this is gonna be a little bit weird. I just did a... What is this called? LH test strip? So ovulation test strip. I have not peed on this. The thing that I peed on is inside of this, so it's not that weird, right? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, it's not like I'm trying to get pregnant or anything. That's like usually why you do the test strip to know when you are ovulating, to know when you can get pregnant, but I am doing it in the other way around. Today I should really not have sex because I don't want to get pregnant. And I don't know if you know about this app called Natural Cycles. This is not a collab. Timo is acting crazy, so excuse that. I know that that is very annoying. Here you guys can see that I have finally included my very first positive ovulation test. So now this app can figure out when I actually ovulate. <laughs> not like 100% exactly obviously this is something that you have to be very careful about <laughs> if you don't want to get pregnant or if you want to get pregnant um but yeah it's a happy day i even got like a congratulations you just did your very first uh, positive test yeah so uh, that's cool <laughs> now i'm gonna go and make some dinner and i'm gonna make some dinner for this monster as well
and now he wants me to throw it. I'm not gonna, Thibaut. Bilohamita. Bilohamita. Oh, I just told him if he wanted dinner and he wants it, but he wants to play more. Okay, so for dinner, I had two sausages yesterday, so I have uh, the two leftovers here in this. So I'm gonna make two sausages uh, with bread. Yeah, and with that, because I'm not gonna get satisfied with just two sausages, I am gonna make some kale, uh, like a kale chips in the air fryer. And that uh, will do. And here is Thibaut's gross food. So let's give that to him first. I thought it was a spider, but it wasn't. Oh my god, I got so scared. <laughs> Yum, 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 and my favorite thing ever, kale. Oh, look at this. Okay, so here it is. It is so yummy. And I'm not just saying that, like, I don't know why it is. It's so good. Okay, what should I watch? By the way, I don't know if I've said, but Jonas is in France <laughs> visiting his dad and his um, grandparents as he is a halfling, <laughs> I was gonna say, he's half Swedish, half um, French. So I will be home with Thibaut alone for like one and a half weeks and therefore I have all the time in the world to talk to you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna watch some YouTube. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> it is the next day um, and I am all, I'm getting ready to film a little Instagram video but I just received a package and I want to open it up with you guys because it is nail stuff <laughs> so maybe not all of you guys are interested but this is a thing that I have bought myself um, from McCart oh my god sorry Thibaut but just for this little clip <laughs> yes uh, what was I saying? yeah this is from McCart I have bought this myself because if you've seen my latest nail video, you guys saw that uh, my uh, nail drill doesn't work. It's the absolute worst. And my nail lamp is not strong enough for some gels. So I already bought the um, lamp, the UV LED lamp. Uh, but I had to buy that from Amazon US because it was out of stock here on my cart. And I really wanted that lamp it's cordless and uh, yeah it should be like the best one but here is the things that i bought from a cart's own website and i have used my very own code evelina for self 15 percent off this is not a collaboration but i do have a affiliate code with them if you want to support me and also get 15 percent off then be sure to use that okay so first off this is uh xxl xxl square half covers 
So this is you glue them on and then you put the gel or acrylic or whatever on top. So it's not a full cover tip. I usually don't like these, but I feel like I want to change up my nails more often. And therefore I feel like this could be easier and quicker. Um, so I want to try that out. And also I am obsessed with square nails right now. I think it is so pretty. So I bought those. Then I bought two new dr drill bits and these are for the um, cuticles. So this is to get rid of like the cuticle access on the nail plate and this is just to make the um, cuticles a little bit more seamless and like round it up a little bit if that makes sense. A lot of you guys have told me that the ones that I use are way too harsh. So now I have bought two ones that look very good and they are actually made for the cuticle. So I think that will do. I got some free rhinestones. I bought some cuticle oil. I think this is just the... Oh yeah, this is how it looks because I really needed it. And uh, what else do we have? Oh yeah, that's right. So as I said, I want to change. It's not Kilan. This was not Ibu. It's not. <laughs> I want to change up my nails uh, more often, and therefore I. Did you get it, Ibu? Somehow he just got it. So yeah. But this is the peel it off base coat. So apparently. You should just uh, put this on like normal, cure it, and uh, put everything on top, and then you can just peel it off, apparently. And then the last one, and I am so excited about this. This is, I think, $118. But I did buy it when it had a little coupon code. Uh, yeah, it had a discount on it uh, already before the coupon code. You get some drill bits that actually look really really nice and here it is so i was like i was very on the fence if i should get a it is looking so much cuter and thinner than i thought it doesn't like weigh anything um yeah they have one in like a um, off pink shade as well but i decided i I feel like black is more my style because I didn't love the pink that they had. And this is called the Stephanie uh, Rechargeable Nail Drill. So you can also charge this and you don't, don't have to use like a cord or something, which would be amazing for me. Why are they pooping? Oh my god, I'm so excited. I want to do my nails right now. Look how pretty a instagram video is recorded my makeup is done although i've taken out the hair that i had and now i'm gonna make some pasta with pesto pesto pasta pasta pesto back and I'm gonna make a little um, iced coffee so, and then we're gonna use the one and only Oatly Cafe. I'm getting so um, much done <laughs> when Jonas is not here like Two and a half days and <laughs> I've gotten so much work done, more than like I've done this whole month. Tivo notices as soon as I start like um, moving <laughs> from sitting completely still for like a few hours that editing on my computer, he notices right away and comes uh, with his little toy and gives it to me. But yeah. As said, I'm done with the video. So happy about it. Uh, I have more to edit though, um, other than that particular video. But before we do that, I 
what to fix Tebow's fur. <laughs> I'm going to cut away some of the fur in his butthole, his butt area, um, and uh, some on his feet, paws, that's the name of it. And also might will we might fix some of the claws. And for that, I have something really nice for Tebow. A few days ago, I did one of these. So this is a, I think it's called a licking mat. So here we have uh, this like mushed meat and banana that I'm gonna give him while I do this because he absolutely hates it. He hates getting his fur brushed. I don't know why. Look at the killer. You? Let's hold him. You're a duty killer. So I fixed Thibaut's butt. Show the butt. Show the butt. <laughs> okay, you guys cannot see it. But now we're gonna go out. I am back from the walk with Thibaut and uh, we are going to make some dinner. I just opened up a rattler. It's like lemon with beer, I guess. It's a really, really tasty. I just started drinking it and it's like the best, best thing ever right now. I have something very interesting to eat today because I got a delivery <laughs> that I didn't film, of course, because it was very early <laughs> that they came with the pizza but it was a pr for um one planet pizza which i think just launched in sweden i'm not sure but i think so i've never seen it before and i know every single new vegan product on the market so i got this one this is the stone baked spicy pepperoni plant-based pizza yum I'm very excited about it. So that is what we're gonna eat for dinner. This looks amazing. Wow, we. I feel like every single time I have been uh, vlogging, I've sat in this couch eating something. <laughs> Sorry, but that's like what I do and uh, work. So, yeah, and I'm gonna watch the staircase on HBO Max. I've already seen the entire documentary years ago uh, and I didn't think that it was so interesting back then but I really really enjoy the um, TV series. If you guys have seen it or the documentary let me know what you think because I think you did it. <laughs> yep. Okay now let's try this. Oh I love that the crust is so thin. Focus, please. Oh, there you guys can see it. Oh my god. Okay, first try. Oh. Really, really good. Is it the best vegan pizza? Anamas. Might be better. Not sure. Alright, so I guess that that is it for this vlog. Let me know what you want to see next. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that we will see each other in the next vlog. And hopefully it will be a little bit more fun. But you know what? This is my everyday life. And I don't see anyone complaining really, so... <laughs> I've seen that some people are annoyed at me for... Um, apologizing so much but i'm a swede we apologize for literally everything so i'm sorry for apologizing <laughs> now i'm gonna go bye